Hello, sixth grade, and welcome to learning about your new strings. So we're going to start off with the E string on the violin. So we've got our screen here. You can see we've got our staff, our five lines and four spaces. And we're going to put our treble clef here. And then we're going to, of course, go through our strings and our fingerings. So for our E string, the first note of our E string starts here. This is E, of course, and it is open for right now. Um, easy enough. The next note is here on our first line, or our top line, or fourth line, fifth line rather. And this, we're going to go ahead and include an F, a sharp, because this is going to be F sharp for right now. And this is our normal first finger. Nothing new there, just the first finger on the E string. The next note is here, which is on top of the staff. This is G, not G sharp. Uh, we're going to be using a low two for this note. Low two, so we're going to have to keep our fingers together to make sure that we get that together. Um, first ledger line, we start adding ledger lines after this. This is A, which is our third finger. And then finally, on top of that ledger line is B. And that is our normal fourth finger. So when we look at it on our instrument, we have E, F sharp, which is normal one, G natural, which is a low two, A, which is three, and B. Now notice again, space between three and four, space between two and three, no space between one and two. So again, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. Open one, two, three, four. Memorize those notes. Viola, your C string. Your C string is you know, the lowest string that you have and is going to be way underneath the staff. So we're going to start with our clef. And of course, we have our viola clef there. Um, sorry for the poor drawing. Now, your first note on your C string is down below the staff. So this here is C, which is your open string. Easy. Nice open deep string. Uh, then we're going to go to on the ledger line. This is D. First finger. Just your normal first finger. And we're going to go right underneath the staff. This is E. Second finger on the first line of the staff, which is F, not F sharp. This is F natural in this case. Third finger, and then finally, right here, this is our G, which you can play fourth finger. So this is a normal fingering pattern. No low twos or anything weird. So we have a C, we put our first finger, D, E, normal third, and G. Now there is space between first and second, and space between third and fourth. Okay, Pretty easy, it's just you're underneath the uh, staff, so you've got a few more notes that you might need to look at. Okay? Cellists, your C string. So your C string is underneath the staff as well. Uh, we're going to start with our bass clef. That was a horrible bass clef. Let me try that again. Bass clef. Much better. Uh, your C string is, of course, underneath the staff, pretty far underneath the staff, which makes it hard for some people because you're having to use ledger lines. So you've got two ledger lines under the staff. That is your C. 
which is open. Then you get one ledger line and right underneath, that's D, first finger, one ledger line and on the line, this is E, and that's your third finger, and then right underneath the staff is F natural, not F sharp, F natural. And then if you were to shift down to fourth position with first finger, this is G. So you get C, open, first finger, D, third finger, which is E, fourth finger, F, G shifted. Should sound like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Nice and easy. And last but not least, our basses. So, bass, you're thinking E string, which again is underneath the staff, um, <clears throat> which you're using ledger lines. And ledger lines. You know, you're used to using the ledger lines on top of the staff, but now we've got to add them on the bottom. So we start off with our bass clef, nice and easy. And your E string starts one ledger line underneath. So this is your E, and that's open, of course. Uh, after that, you get underneath, this is F sharp. So we've got to add our, oops. We gotta add our sharp right there. And this is your normal first finger. Then you get the line, well, first line. This is second finger, and this is a G natural. Now when you shift to third position, this is when you get A and B. So we start on our E, there's our E open, our first finger is F sharp, second finger is G. Shift down to third position for A, and fourth finger is B. Now a lot of times you'll jump from a D on the staff, so right here, you know, open string D. walk up, which gives you a lower octave of the D major scale.